Mocha from Meta is an AI model which can take speech and text as input and then generate a video. So it stands for towards movie grade talking character synthesis. Okay. Now here are some example videos which has been generated over here. For example, this is a person singing over here. City of stars, just one thing everybody so if you look at the video, there is perfect lip sync. Here is another example. Is knife always this hard? Or it's just when you're a kid? These are all single character videos, right? They have the capability of generating multiple characters also, multi characters. So let's look at this particular video. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. So here is another example. I'm so sick of people saying that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm These are multi characters, but again, a single character speaking over here. Right. The next is you have multi character conversation with turn based dialogue. This is very interesting. So let's look at one of the videos over here. Maybe this one. What are you going to do? I got to follow my own plan. Stay here. Get my own thing. Going. So this is like a multi character conversation with turn based dialogue. Another example. This is Harvey Dent. The famous Bruce Wayne. Rachel's told me everything about you. Okay. So this is quite amazing. Then they have portrayed talking characters. I called everywhere in five states. I told them it was the only way to get my wife to marry me. They have emotion control. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I They have action control over here. No such thing as spirit. We are made of matter and nothing more. So these results are quite amazing over here. Now just let's look into their paper. The authors claim that recent advancements in video generation have achieved impressive motion realism, yet they often overlook character driven storytelling, which is a crucial task for automated film animation generation. So they introduce talking characters, a more realistic task to generate talking character animations directly from speech and text. Unlike talking head, talking characters aim at generating the full portrait of one or more characters beyond the facial region. So this is what they say over here. And over here, what they are saying is that existing foundational models are far from achieving this vision. They are claiming that, you know, models like Sora, Pika, Luma, Halo and Kling primarily generate, uh, generate characters with limited speech capabilities. Typically, these models exhibit simplified mouth movements and emotional expressions detached from meaningful dialogue, lacking control over actual spoken content. So if you have worked with these tools, you can confirm if this is true. So what they're saying is that consequently their practical usability is severely restricted for speech driven interactions essential to cinematic and interactive applications. On the other hand, recent speech driven video generation models such as Loopy, Halo 3 and Emo predominantly focus on synthesized talking head videos confined to facial regions. So this is what they are trying to overcome. So the current approaches neglect essential full body movements and multi character interactions critical for expressive storytelling thus significantly limiting their applicability in realistic and interactive cinematic scenarios. So this is where they are bringing in this talking characters task, which, which is defined as generating characters from natural language and speech input that naturally expresses synchronized speech, realistic emotions and full body actions. So here is where they propose Mocha, which is the first of the kind diffusion transformer model trained end to end to achieve high quality movie grade talking character generation. So it's quite amazing that if you have a text description like this, right, a close up shot of a woman standing in a modern house, speaking to the camera while facing straight ahead. She has shoulder length dark hair. The background is described over here. She holds a single rose in her hands, gently running her finger across the petals. Static camera captures her face and upper body. You have a video which is being generated. So this is the architecture over here. It's an end to end diffusion transformer model that generates video frames from the joint conditioning of speech and text without relying on any auxiliary signals. Both speech and text inputs are projected into token representations and aligned with video tokens through cross attention. So you just give this 
input text and speech basically you get video as an output so this is the architecture i'm not going into the details of the architecture right now let's look at another uh, diagram over here which talks about you know multi character conversation and character tagging so basically the prompt over here is that you know two videos two video clips we have character characters person 1 and person 2 person 1 is a woman with a short gray hair medium uh, skin tone wearing a maroon sweater and apron person 2 is man with a bad darker skin tone wearing a black t-shirt and jeans first clip person's um, description is given of the person one they are standing in a cozy kitchen facing left doing something the camera gradually zooms in the person one's face second clip is person two standing on the other side so this is how you know uh, given this prompt mocha supports generate uh, to generate multi character con uh, conversation with scene cut okay so this is the uh, template which they have created so if it is a multi character uh, conversation which is happening then what it is done is that they break it into you know scene cuts where a scene focuses on a single character that's how they are able to create this multi character conversation so these are the two diagrams which i kind of looked into over here um so you can actually look into this paper for further uh, details okay uh, so their training strategy over here is joint training of speech plus text to video and text to video so you have speech annotated video data sets all right and you also have text to video data sets from which so 80% they use this speech to text video data and 20% they use text to video data and together with this they are actually doing this particular training over here okay um uh, further details are present in the paper i have not got uh, into the paper fully okay so you can look into the paper uh, this is an interesting model and uh, this is just a paper which has been put over here um uh, this is a uh, just all videos in this project are for research demonstration and have no commercial use so the model is not yet released i don't know whether it will get released in the future but it seems an interesting video generation model from meta ai so this is a short video on mocha you can check out this project page and the paper i'll put the links in the vi uh, video description hope this video is useful to you